Good morning. Do you have credit card debt? Are you trying to pay them off? Well, there is a way you can pay your credit card debt without paying a lot toward the interest. If that's what you're interested about, let's talk about it a little bit. So if you have multiple credit card debts and you're trying to pay them off, list them down from the highest balance to the lowest and pay your lowest balance first. So one, one step or one option of paying off your credit card debts without paying a lot of the interest is to pay them off as quickly as much as possible. That will lower the overall interest that you pay on them. The second option, if you cannot pay them off very quickly, the second option will be to call them and ask for a lower interest rate. So call each one of them and ask them if they can lower your interest rate because chances are some of your credit card might have a higher interest rate. So call them and ask if they can lower your interest rate. If they say no, you can even let them know that you want to balance transfer to another card but because you have been with them for a while, you wanted to see if they have a promotional interest going on that, a promotional interest rate going on that they can give you or, you know, if they can lower your interest so that you keep the debt there and pay off, you are trying to pay off and you have the option to transfer it at 0% a year to another card. But that's why you're calling them. Sometimes when you say those words, it will, you know, push them to give you a promotional interest rate, which will be lower. They might even say if your 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 interest rate is twelve percent. I have done it with Siri before. I was calling them because my interest was fourteen percent, fourteen point ninety nine percent, and I have debt on it, and I didn't want to balance transfer. So I called them and I asked them if they can lower my interest rate. And they didn't want to lower it, but then I let them know that I have the chance to balance transfer that amount. I'm trying to pay it off, and I wanted to balance transfer to another card. But because I have been with them for so long, I wanted to keep it there and pay it off if they can lower my interest rate. And finally, they said they have a promotion going on. They can lower it to 9% to nine percent for a year and they did it and i think i kept the amount there and i pay off very quickly you know within that same year so try something like that to see how that will play for you the third option would be to do a balance transfer so if you are trying to pay off your credit card debt list them down from the highest balance to the lowest one so your plan will be to pay if you you need to have a budget you need to budget for your expenses and know how much extra you have to apply to all your credit cards. So you'll have a spreadsheet of your credit cards and the amount, or in fact, all your debts, not just the credit cards, but all your debts. But you are going to pay the credit cards off first because they are the ones that have the highest interest rates. So within your credit cards, you are going to pay the lowest balance first, whether it has a highest interest rate a higher interest rate or not but you are going to pay the lowest balance first so you want to list them down from the highest balance to the lowest balance and then you list the minimum due for each one of them and the next column will be to list the amount you are going to pay toward each one of them to match the minimum you know due and the lowest one that's why you will apply all the rest of your income that you put aside for the credit cards so that you can pay the lowest balance first. Once you pay off, the credit card might have the option for zero balance transfer, you know, for a, a, a balance transfer for 0% interest rate for a year. So you can move the next balance that you try to pay off down the road you will move that, you can balance transfer it to that credit card that you already pay off and that is giving you the option to balance transfer at 0% for a year. So a lot of time balance transfer might have 3% interest rate, flat fee on it from the start. 
before you balance transfer, you have to first calculate the amount you think you can pay off within a year so that you don't pay any interest on it at all. And you have to be very serious about your finances so that you stick to your plan. So you determine that amount and then you will see if it makes sense for you to balance transfer it. If the interest, the credit card you are moving it from has a higher interest rate, you will need to calculate the total you will end up paying on that debt if you leave it on its credit card. If the total is higher than the 3% you will pay by balance transferring it, it's good to balance transfer it to the 0% card and pay off within a year. Once you pay it off, you balance transfer again if you have the option. And that will lower your interest overall. Let me show you on my spreadsheet how it works. I personally like to call the companies and negotiate a lower interest rate. But my husband like to balance transfer. I balance transfer once, I believe, while I was paying off my credit card and I just pay off very quickly. So here is the calculation. Let's say that you have $5,000 on a credit card. That is going to charge you or uh, the interest rate is 14 percent and that's the interest rate here is 14.99 percent and your debt is 5,000 so what you will do is list the months if you think you will be able to pay off within a year because you will be putting $500, $500 a month. So you will have this spreadsheet, for example, and you will calculate how much you will be charged on it. Keep in mind that 14.99% 14 is for the whole year. So every month you will be charged a monthly rate, which will be the $5,000 times 14.99 times 30 days divided by 3 cc. So I have 30 divided by 3 cc here and I have the interest rate down here. So cc $2 will be what will be charged the first month which will be 5,000 times 14.99 times 30 divided by 3 cc. So you will pay 500 the first month and your balance will be 5,000 plus CC2 minus 500 that you paid. Your second month will be that balance times the interest times 30 divided by 3 CC again. And then you'll pay 500 out of that. And you just do the same calculation all the way down. And as you can see, by month 11, if you are paying 300 every single month toward this credit card, you'll pay off by month 11. But you'll pay a total of $374 in interest. Now you'll compare it to the balance transfer offer that you have, which will be 5,000 times 3%, and that's 150. So if you do the balance transfer, you'll pay off within one year by paying 500 every month. You'll be able to pay off within 10 months, and you only pay 150 interest on it, versus keeping it here and paying it off within 11 months, by paying an extra 374. That's how you need to calculate 
the interest on your credit card debts that you want to balance transfer to see if it makes sense for you to balance transfer it or just keep it there and pay it off. But before you do the balance transfer, you can ask if they can lower your interest rate. A second option, uh, the fourth option to lower your interest is if you have cash advance. If you have made a cash advance on your credit card and you have purchases, chances are when you make a payment toward the credit card, they will apply the minimum. If you pay more than the minimum, they will apply the minimum toward the purchase because a lot of time the purchase will have a lower interest rate and the cash advance usually have, have uh has the highest interest rate so they will apply the minimum toward the purchase the purchases amount and then the extra that you paid will be applied toward the cash advance debt so if you have a chance to balance transfer it will be good to balance transfer the credit card that you have cash advance debt on because those will have a higher the highest interest rate if you have cash advance and purchases on them i don't think you'll be able to to see you know to choose what you want to balance transfer you just have to balance transfer the whole amount to another credit card so it's not necessarily important to pay the lowest balance first but if the interest you are paying on your credit card is too high you might want to think about strategy that will help you pay the least amount of interest as much as possible. So here is an example. My husband, too recently due to a scam, had uh, uh, $15,000 in credit card debt. So we have a spreadsheet here to track his payment. But as you can see, because he did cash advance, on Bank of America, Bank of America originally has $10,000 debt and all was due to cash advance and the, the interest rate on cash advance for him was 24.99% and interest on purchases on Bank of America was 14.99. He has discovered and discovered was 5,000 debt due to purchases. And all that was due to a scam that I have explained on in another video. But Discover has 12.99% interest rate. So what he did after I asked him to call them and request and and request how much the interest is in all of that, he decided to balance transfer because both of the uh, the credit card companies they have balance transfer option so he balance transfer the debt from bank of america which was ten thousand to discover and balance transfer five thousand dollars on discover to bank of america so that at this point he doesn't have he doesn't pay any interest on them and then he decided to pay because he need to pay one before the other so he spent the minimum to one that's why we have this pay minimum here and pay the reminder here. So he's paying, his plan is to pay this, to pay the extra toward discover. So if he needs to pay one off first, he wants to pay discover off. So he's paying extra toward discover and he's paying the minimum toward Bank of America. And those are the minimum due there but he's paying extra every month and I believe November you can see he paid the 83 and paid the extra to discover but I think we didn't update it with December let me see if I can update what he paid to them in December I have it here. I don't know if I'll be able to locate it right away, but credit card minimum bill. So he paid 254 toward the minimum 
and pays seven ninety nine. Because you got extra, he pays seven ninety nine point twenty two extra. So two fifty four. So he'll pay fifty four there. So two fifty four minus fifty one. And as you can see, that was the minimum right there. Those two total to two fifty four. That's why he paid our the minimum credit card. In addition to that, he paid seven ninety nine point twenty two. So he he paid more than thousand dollars in December toward them. But his plan is to pay Discover, to pay the extra toward Discover. And he said that because Discover tend to have balance transfer option more often than Bank of America. So he's thinking that once he pay Discover, he will be able to move Bank of America remaining balance down to Discover and pay them all off. But we have the plan to pay everything off within a year. So, so you need to have a plan and know the reason why you want to do a balance transfer or just leave the debt where it is and pay it off. But have a plan to pay it off and pay more than the minimum. Stop using your card while you are paying it off. Or if you need to make a purchase online, you can use it. But first, save for that purchase. Have the money on hand. Use the credit card to pay it off online. Use the credit card to pay the purchases online, but then within a, a, a few days, pay the credit card off. The last option to lower interest rate on your credit card is if you don't have debt on your credit card, pay off within the time that you are given to pay off. If you receive the statement, chances are you'll have 21 days in average to pay off without interest. If you pay your balance, your balance in full, Every month that you use the card, you won't have any interest to pay on it. Thank you for watching. I'm Nina from Nina Soap.